Well, I think you can all see what's going on with this sax. It's made from plastic. Now, I see thousands of you have already seen myself and Scott duetting to the Looney Tunes theme on YouTube, but I thought it'd be worth taking the time to do a proper comparison of the vibrato sax against a regular brass sax. And for that purpose, I've chosen a Yanagazawa A901. Now, I'm going to try and be careful when I demonstrate the two to use more or less the same phrasing and dynamic, etc. And this will allow you to make a, a proper comparison without any extra distraction. One thing worth pointing out that I noticed when I first played the vibrato was that it takes a short time just to get used to the finger pressure required to seal the pads properly. It's the fact that, that the pads are made from this silicon material and that they're self-leveling that means that it needs a reasonable but not excessive pressure to create the correct seal. Um, on first glance, it's pretty obvious that this sax doesn't look like a regular sax. Often people comment that it looks like a toy when they come in the shop, but then they're often they're surprised when they play it that it behaves and plays like a regular sax. Now for the connoisseurs out there, the vibrato won't replace your Selma Mark VI or your Yamaha or your Kilworth or whatever you may have, but it will give you something a bit different. The other thing worth pointing out, and this isn't obvious from a video review such as this, is that the sax is just so light it almost beggars belief. And from this point of view, for children learning, it would make it an excellent first saxophone. So let's do a demonstration and you can make up your own mind whether you think it sounds different to a regular sax or not. Thank you. 